Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about something called as file handling in Java. Now to handle file, we have to concentrate on some classes. So, uh, so initially when we talk about file handling, we will be storing some data in a file and we'll retrieve those data from a file, right? So let me, my, let, uh, let, uh, let's suppose my file name is demo, demo.txt. So to store data in a file, we have to write in a file, right? We have to write. So normally when you say you have to write, this is a method, right? So when you, when you say you have to do something, so you have to use methods. Now, when you say write, in write, we have to pass some data. So we will pass like, uh, we can pass a data like uh, demo content. So we can, we will pass this data. But when you talk about this, yeah, we need some main function. So we have main function and this should include, this should be included in our file. So, so in our main function, so we'll do this. Now, when you talk about this method, we have to use a method called as write. Now, question arises: what write? We have multiple types of write statement. We have write uh, text, we have write bytes, then we have write UTF. So, we'll be using write UTF, right? UTF means it's a type of format, you know, it's a, it defines the format in which the data will be saved. So, uh, when you talk about this notepad, it follows UTF-8, you might be knowing it. So, so we have this write UTF method. Now this write UTF method belongs to a class called as data output stream. So we have a class called a data output stream and it belongs to a package called Java IO. So we have to create object of data output stream. Let's suppose the object name is DOS. And to create this object, we'll say new data output stream. Yeah, so we have new data output stream. Now when you create this object, what it will ask you for is it will ask you for the object it will ask you for an object of file input stream so to, in, in order to use data output stream object in order to create this object we need to create object of file output stream so we'll say fos equal to new file output stream and this will ask you for a file name so we'll say file name is I will say file name is demo.txt so we can have multiple formats we can have txt we can have dat and then you have to pass this object here so we can say fos and this method is a non-static method belongs to a class called data output stream so what you need to do is we have to use the object of data output stream in order to save data so using this you can store but the problem is uh, there might be some problem in creating this file there might be some problem in writing in this file so we will give we'll be getting uh, errors so what we have to do is we have to handle this errors either we can use uh, try catch or we can directly say uh, throws exception right so using this we can store the data in our file so let me run this so if i say shift f6 so it's running running yeah so you can see it is built successful now question arises where it, this file is so for this we need to go to our uh, documents folder and in admin project so here we can see this is our project and yes we have a file called demo.txt and content is some Chinese text again it is encrypted format for uh, not file if I say this data, we can use. Yeah. So if I open it with this WordPad also, yeah. so we have this demo content. Okay. So, so now what if if I read this file from our code itself? So what we can do is to read to read this content, we have to say there's a method called as read UTF. Right. To read, we have re read UTF, it will return something, so we will store those data in str, right? And in order to read this, we have to create object of, see, to store, we have created object of data output stream. So to retrieve, we have to create object of, yeah, it's data input stream. So we'll say data input stream. And we'll say dis equal to new data, oh, it's new data input 
stream. Now, uh, to create object of data output stream, we need an object of file output stream. In the same way, to create object of data input stream, you have to create object of file input stream. So, let's say FIS, it's FIS equal to new file input stream and in brackets we have to pass the file name so file name is demo.txt and here we can pass this fis and semicolon now this read utf belongs to a class called as data input stream so you have to specify the object name so dis dot read utf and now what we can do is we can say s out and we'll say str so now if i run this The output is demo content. So what is happening here is you have created a file demo.txt. Then you say then you say write utf in that file as demo take content. Now from the same file, from the same file, we are trying to retrieve the data and we are storing this data in, in a file in a, to a string str and we are we are printing it. Now that's it. But but the problem is we have created we have done some hard coding here. We have mentioned the file name in the brackets only so what we can do is in order to change this file name from demo moment demo moment we have to change in both the uh, methods right so what we can do is we can create an object of file as f equal to new file and in this file we can mention demo dot txt so what you can do is uh, again we have to import the package as you can see if the package name the package where this all this classes belongs is io so it's java dot io and then instead of passing the file name, we can specify f. Here also we can specify f. So in future, if you want to change your file name as demo one also, you have to change it one plus only. So what we can do is we can again run this and with the same content. So that's about file handling. Again, we have multiple methods to work with. So if you have any doubts, please comment. Thank you so much.